Shut up and sit down. Hi, I'm PJ McTavish, and welcome back to another DC Street Story. So we're continuing on with our 2017 A uh, Section A short questions, and this one is A2. So read it quickly. The graphic below shows the logo for the Ladies Professional Golf Association. It contains a combination of ge uh, geometric curves depicting a female golfer. The main curve is a parabola, and the curve shaft is a normal to the parabola. The drawing on the right shows the axis AA1, the direction is DD1, and the focus F of a similar problem so what you need to do is you need to locate the vertex and draw a portion of the problem and then locate point p on the curve which is 30 mil from the directrix and construct a normal to the curve of point p okay and that represents the uh club shot okay so these uh, conic section questions now i always say to my classes that uh, there's kind of two types of conic section questions when it comes to these short questions you either have you now i'm sure there's a better way to describe it but I kind of tend to call this basically the higher level even cert uh, method. And then you also have your uh, June cert higher level construction where, for example, a parabola where they give you the rectangle that fits within and you must divide it up to find uh, your points. Or this one we're working with line of, lines of eccentricity. So let's mark down, first of all, we want a parabola. So just to recap that your line of eccentricity, if it is, you have your hyperbola, you have your ellipse and you have your, and your parabola. Now you should probably put the, Swap them around. Your line of eccentricity for a ellipse is always going to be less than one. Your hyperbola is always greater than one, and then for a uh, uh, parabola, it's equal to one. So what that means is your line of eccentricity for this one, in this case, this uh, parabola. If you went up one measurement on your directrix and in one measurement on your axis, and you were to draw them up and across. It'll give you basically 45 degrees. It'll give you the angle of your line of eccentricity. For a hyperbola and for an ellipse, you're, for an ellipse, you're going less than one. So you'd go basically in three measurements on your axis and up two, like a ratio of three to two. So for a hyperbola, you'd be going basically at the ratio up is, uh, three to two. So up three and in two, where it'll give you a higher angle. So for a hyperbola, your angle's going to be higher than 45. For, sorry, for a hyperbola, your angle's higher than 45. For parabola, it is 45. And for an ellipse, it'll be less than 45. So first things first is draw the line of eccentricity, and that will start from your where your directrix meets your axis. To get, as I said there, locate the vertex and draw a portion. To get the vertex, no matter which uh, conic section you're doing, either hyperbola, ellipse, or parabola, you must once you find your line of eccentricity, you always go back to 45 degrees from your focal point to hit your line of eccentricity. And directly below that is your vertex. So that's our vertex here. We came straight down there and this is at 45 degrees. Once we've done that now, let's get a few points on our parabola. And it says draw a portion. So we'll go top and bottom. We'll do the top part here first, then we'll do the base. So we'll draw a line straight up from your focal point. Give you a focal line. Well, that meets your line of eccentricity that gives you a point on the curve after that then we're going to pick a range of points now the measurements doesn't matter it's up to you we'll do a few sections here so i'm going to mark a point in between our focal point and our vertex maybe a close one in here and one out there maybe two and then mark another three points maybe out here and what we do is we want to draw them straight up until they hit the line of eccentricity so draw i'll do one first and then i might fast forward through them just to show that it's always the same method. I'll do the first one here, it's normally the clearest to see. So draw that point up until you hit your line of eccentricity. What you do next is draw it horizontally across your T-square until it hits the focal line. Get your compass. So the pin the compass at the focal point. Put the lead at the point you have to find in there. And swing it back down to your original line. And that will give you a point. On the curve. So that method is how you find all the points. So I'll run through that again. Mark a point down here on your axis. Draw straight up until you hit your line of eccentricity. 
bring that straight across horizontally to your uh, focal line here and then pin at the compass at f the focal point lead at your height here and swing it back to the first line you drew straight up and that's the point on the curve it's the same for all these now i'm going to draw this one up elon you see across and arc it down same with these as well fast forward through this section here now range of points on the parabola now you just join them in freehand lightly and then you can go over top And to finish the, point, uh, the portion of the curve and any of these questions, they're symmetrical uh, from the axis. So once you do one side here at the top, as we did, just use axial symmetry just to project your points by down here to the bottom of it. So that's part A done. That is locate the vertex and draw a portion of the parabola. Part B now is locate a point P on the curve, which is 30 mil from the directrix. So let's do that first. So from the directrix, we're going to measure in 30 mil. So I'm going to draw that line up lightly and work cuts. So point P, so it says locate point P on the curve, start to move from the directrix and construct a normal to the curve of point P. Now, you can go point P, it doesn't say, it doesn't give you, and doesn't show. Oh yeah, sorry, I was going to say point P could be down here too. But look at the logo, you're following the logo and the normal of it, the shaft of it, of the golf club is at this top point here. So I was going to draw it down here just to give um, a bit more detail because there's a lot of lines there. But you've got to follow the question. So this has to be on the curve here. This is point P. So it says uh, construct a normal to the curve of point P. So the first thing you do is you join the focal point to the uh, point you have to find in there. In this case, it's point P and I'll put this in there. Maybe a bit of orange might stand out a bit better. So join the focal point to point P. You don't have to stop at point P either, you can continue on. Now secondly, we need a line from point P that is perpendicular to the directrix. Okay, so we're going to continue that back just to show it is perpendicular to your directrix. Now, if, normally if they'd ask for a tangent, you would bisect the angle that your two lines are making here to get a tangent to the curve. But in this case, it's a normal, and a normal is always perpendicular to a tangent, at right angles to it. So what we're going to do is bisect the angle that our line here perpendicular to the directrix and our line from the focal point makes. So this angle here, bisect that angle and draw in your normal. Bisecting the line or bisecting the angle, you get the normal to the curve, and that is part B done. So you locate okay, point B 30 mil from the directrix, and we construct a normal to the curve point B. So that's that kind of section's question done. That A2 from 2017. So, as always, with all these tutorials, I hope they help and that they give you a bit of guidance. If they do help, please leave a like, and also don't forget to subscribe because you never know when I'm going to upload to the channel. And as always, I hope good luck in your exams, and we'll see you in the next one.